Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you how to do a big buckle graduation card. Uh, but first I want to show you how I done the graduation cap and then the little diploma. So let's get started with that. For the hat, you're going to start with a strip of one inch wide by go with maybe three four let's three inch would be good so one inch wide that's the important and about three inch long you're going to bring the peak here to the opening the track of the where the blade's going to cut and then at three quarter the points put this down cut well i thought i cut it here we go. Now you're going to take this diagonal cut and put that at one inch like this. And close this and cut. I'm not pushing enough on my... And see, you get kind of that diamond shape. Now, I thought to use just another strip there and I didn't like that it was too straight so what I done I use a circle one and three a circle and then I just did a little, little trimming this way and then it's better if I turn it around for me and then a little bit of a trimming this way that's a little too much so you see I just play with it it kind of looked funny but then when you put it here you get the perfect cap it's a little bit too much pointy so I'm going to take some off so I just trim the bottom and see when it's done you get a nice uh, shape of a hat now if it's too long at the top you can trim that too. So I just did a little bit of fussy cutting here. Here I go and I'm going to cut this. Now <clears throat> for the tassel I'm using our new tassel that uh, whoops, here we go, that you get with the Eastern um, Palace um, pre-order right now or on um, June 1st, you're going to be able to buy it separately. It's the mini tassel assortment. So they come in different color. Well, I didn't want that big um, loop there. So what I done, I removed this ring. So I just use a piece of flat plier and remove this ring. Because I didn't want that for a tassel. <coughs> now I'm using... Uh, dental floss um, it's what you can floss your teeth with with braces and I'm going to slide that in the hole that where the ring was I'm going to take one of the thread in the <clears throat> tassel pass it in here now I'm going to take another th on the other side you're going to hold this one there pass this in so now I bet you see where I'm going with this right so that way it's more of a tassel than with the the ring on it it was not working for me it was too uh, big for uh, my hat the ring gonna hold this in place here oops one minute let's put this one back in here let's start pulling here you want to make sure this one it's not stuck in and I think it is okay let's start this over again so you want to take this push it up here we go okay now make sure you keep this st uh, string that you just pull on one side away i'm going to pull that closer here 
and we're going to pass this one in like so and pull see now we get our little tassel so you can do a knot here if you want or what i done let me get my punch I used the one eighth of a circle punch, put that in the center here. Voila. Now I took my tassel and again put this in. This helps a lot for a fast uh, threading here. And I'm going to put that, pass that in. Now I can turn this in the back, add some of the fast fuse there so it won't move. And if it go, you get a little on top, just trim that. And here I get a little piece didn't cut. Here we go. So now what to do with that? I use a regular um, old punch and I uh, punch out a piece of uh, gold foil. Now I just use a glue dot and put that, put that at the top. Et voila my friend. So now I get my tassel. Now to do the bottom of the hat Again, you're going to use some fast fuse. This is the bottom here. And then put that in the back. So it's kind of rounded. I think the rounded look better than the square, but if you get a tough time, you can use a square and just trim the bottom also. And now I get my tassel. If the tassel is too long for the card, I thought it would be, I just took my scissors and give it a little air cut there. See, now it was shorter. So that's how I done my tassel for my cap and my cap. Now, <clears throat> for the diploma, I'm using just copy paper because it's softer, it's easier to work with. You're going to start with a small, uh, like a brush or anything to start rolling. So just roll it like this a bit. And then what you're going to do, it's put some glue there. Start rolling and roll this tight. See, roll, roll, roll. And this is two inch uh, long by um you can do two by two or one and three quarter by two one and three quarter whatever the length that you need do the same about so this one going to be a bit shorter because i went on the short side one in uh three quarter and then just tie a little bow around it see very simple so now we get our tool or decoration that we need you're going to take a piece of cardstock. <clears throat> you're going to cut it at five and a half on the long way. And then you're going to cut it at um, seven inch. First, I did seven and a quarter. Well, that quarter here was a little bit too much. So, um, depends the buckle you want. So, if you want the buckle to be um, one and a half, you're still going to cut your paper at uh, seven, then your buckle is going to be at one and a half. I needed my buckle at one and a quarter, so I just trim a quarter inch. So, this here measure five and a half by um, one and a quarter. And I scored this at two inch. That's the length that I wanted. So score at two inch. Your piece of cardstock that measure five, uh, seven by um, five and a half, you're gonna score at four and a quarter. So now you get this done. I pre-stamp the congratulation grads. 
that's from BYOP uh, stamp set only available till uh, May 21st and after that it's while supplies last till May 31st uh, May 30th so again this is on the re uh, retire list so only available the congratulation grads that's what I put inside and adds off to you this is from the guys greeting and you see adds off to you I didn't want a long way I want it this way so look what I've done I cut my greeting in two so I can put it one on top of the other or if I need it on the long sorry the battery went dead so what I was saying it's I cut my greeting right in the center there so I can put it one on beside uh, uh, top and bottom of each other so I could get this and then if I want it on the long way I can put it on the long block and have it on the long way so um depends if you want to alternate your stamps or not for me that's what I wanted now we're going to do and this here I use um the bird stamp set it's um swirly bird I use this little round thing and the dots I I needed a background and I didn't have no designer series paper so we're going to mount that in the front and this measure um five and three eight by two and two and something I'm going to have all the dimension on my blog but here it is two and five eight by um, five and three eighths I think five and three eighths right yeah five and three eighths so this is going to come right here now this piece here we need to um, have our number first so I could the letters numbers the big die I cut the one in the black and um, crush curry and the same in the uh, seven it's for this year this is going to go to my son and when you're going to glue both layers just leave a little bit over here but then put your um, this is Tombow glue inside of a fine tip glue pen a uh, glue uh, container just put it on the right side because that's where you're going to come here oops just a little bit of a shadow to get um, the number uh, brighter it it pop I want pull up a bit here we go so now we get this now we have to put that on our card first to decide where our buckle going to go so we're going to put the numbers we're going to use the strip the dimensional strips and we want exactly right at the top it cannot go much lower so put a strip right at the top and then here at the bottom is just going to be one little strip because we need to be able to pass our buckle and then for the one right here at the top and right at the bottom that's an important step if you want to put the buckle that uh, going to slide easy now we're going to decide where we want that 17. that is the first thing you want to put on your top layer there and you know what i want the seven first so i know where to put my one because if i put my one first then the seven it's off so here we go i'm going to put that right here and then right here so now I got my 17 the long part that's what's going to come under here see 
and then this part is going to go up here. See, you get your buckle. So what we're going to do, it's put fast fuse in the back of this. And you know what? I think that would be look good to with little dots from a um, swirly bird. So let's do that before we put it together. So I'm going to use uh, my scrap paper here. I'm going to use crushed curry on crushed curry. I think it's just need a little bit of something. Here we go. Now we're going to take back this here. And then we're going to put that right at the edge of our car. Et voila. See, now you get your buckle. Now let's do the inside. The inside, like I said, I did ads off to you with the guy's greeting and then um, BYOP uh, for congratulation, grad. So that's why you needed your buckle first because this is going to cover that part. And this piece measure four and one eight by five and three eight. I just wanted a little border. And you got plenty of place to right there or right over here. Now when you close this, voila. Now we're going to take the hat. I won't put um, any of the, what it's called, any of the dimensional in the back of this here. Oops, this is not solid there. Make sure you get glue in the back there. Here we go. Because I think the tassel is plenty big. So now I'm going to put that there. And the tassel, I got not the tassel, but the diploma, I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to use a glue dot. Really, I'm going to use two glue dots. One and two. This is going to get smashed a little bit if you mail it, but it's okay. It's still going to look like a diploma. I'm going to put that right there. So here it is, your buckle for graduation. So hope you enjoyed this. For all the stamping of product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com or right above you get the link for the blog. And this is going to be part of a blog op. So come up over and see what else we get for buckle cards. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.